नमस्कार डियर स्टूडेंट आई वेलकम यू इन दिस वर्ष क्लास ऑर्गेनाइज बाय ज्वाइंट स्कूल फैमिली एंड टुडे इन द सेम चैप्टर ऑफ यूनिट सिक्सटीन दैट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द डिविजन ट्रेको फाइटर ऑफ प्लांट किंगडम सो इन दिस डिविजन ऑल दो हाईली डेवलप्ड फास्कुलर प्लांट दे बिलोंग्स ओके एंड लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट द बास्कुलर प्लांट a vascular plant is one of a number of plant with specialized vascular tissues uh present in them okay and the vascular tissues are of two types one is xylem and another is phloem and these are the tissues which are responsible for transportation of nutrients minerals and the product of the photosynthesis throughout the plant okay as opposed to that of non vascular plants such as algae and fungi where there is absence of this uh, xylem and phloem or the conducting tissues which were very small in size as they lack this vascular tissues uh, this plant which belongs to this division they can grow up to a large height okay and uh because uh, they grow in larger height as they have xylem and phloem which provides a means of transporting water to grow upward to catch the sun so sun's energy will be converted into the uh, other form of energy like glucose or sugar in different forms uh, which is required by the plant for its growth is possible due to sunlight and for growth the uh, the plant can grow upward due to the presence of xylem and phloem okay now in vascular plant vascular tissues like xylem and phloem are arranged in a definite pattern they have a fixed pattern in which these tissues are arranged the now let's talk about the xylem the xylem is made mostly of the structural protein called lignin okay they are made up of structural protein called lignin and dead cells and which are specialized in transporting water and minerals up to the leaves by creating a pressure on the water on multiple fronts and they uh, create a, a process called uh, addition and cohesion which is responsible to create the pressure and transport the nutrients upward in the stem uh, toward the leaves of the plant okay and when this mineral and water reaches in the leaves the photosynthesis occur and leaves extract the solar energy from the sun and store it in in the bonds of glucose and this sugar which can be modified or changed is to be transported to the various part of the body where photosynthesis does not occur okay and for this transportation of the sugar or the prepared food by the plant the phloem tissues come in the role okay and this phloem tissues are designed in such a way to transport the prepared food from the leaves to the various part of the body unlike the xylem tissues the phloem is made by okay made by partially living cell which helps to facilitate the transport of sugar through transport protein found in the cell membrane okay and this phloem tissues are connected with the xylem tissues and wherever the sugar becomes thick this xylem 
induces the water in them which makes dilute and easy to transport that sugar to the various part of the plant okay that is about the short description about the xylem and phloem that is the peculiar behavior of the organism that belongs to tracheophyta now tracheophyta are uh, first varieties of plant are placed so it is not difficult uh, it is not easy to study about them so they are further divided into three subdivision na namely pteridophyta gymnosperm and angiosperm out of which pteridophyta are non flowering that is they are cryptogams whereas other group like gymnosperm and angiosperm are flowering type of plant okay so we will discuss other subdivision in next class like gymnosperm and angiosperm we will discuss in next class so today we will discuss about the subdivision teredo fighter okay and teredo fighter comes from the two word that is teron means feather fighter means plant so this the plant which belongs to this subdivision are called teredo fighter as well as they are also known as the vascular cryptogams okay they are known as vascular cryptogams because they have vascular tissues like xylem and phloem is present as well as they are cryptogams means they are cryptogams crypto plus gamos crypto means hidden gamos means marriage okay crypto means hidden uh, gamos means marriage the type in which the reproduction is taken takes place by the formation of sporangia okay by the means of uh, sporangia under the leaf of this plant okay called sporophyll those leaves which belongs to pteridophyta under their leaves they bear, bear spores and the leaves which bear spores are known as sporophyll leaves okay and this sporophylls bear spores in them and later on this will help in the reproduction okay so now let's talk about the general characteristic of the plant that belongs to pteridophyta already i have told they are known as the vascular cryptogams having vascular tissues as well as cryptogams means they don't bear seed or flower okay and let's discuss about the general characteristic the first characteristic of this plant are they are found as herb sub and tree they can found they can be found in all the three states in very small sort bushy type structure and a very tall like plant okay and evolutionary if we think through the evolution organic evolution if you think they are the first terrestrial uh, plants to possess vascular tissues so these were the for plant which were first grown as the vascular tissues and found on the land on the terrestrial plant second another characteristic is that plant body is sporophytic or diploid stage like in previous uh, class we have st studied that they are the, uh, their gametophytic stage was more dominant the, we can visualize them more dominantly but in case of pteridophyta instead of bryophyta uh, sporophytic stage that is diploid stage is more dominant or visible as compared to gametophytic stage and in, the, in this case the mature sporophyte is nutritionally independent 
of gametophyte for the nutrition sporophyte does not depend upon the gametophytic stage okay so that is the one of the characteristic of the pteridophyta now next is it is differentiated into two root stem and leaves in bryophyta truly we cannot differentiate them into root stem and leaves and in uh, thallophyta their body is, was not, uh, is not able to be differentiated into root leaves and stem but in this case they have true root stem and leaves okay and this plant may be annual okay they can grow only for one season also may be perennial means for long period of time for their life for life they have a green leaves in them okay so in annual plant like azola and selvinia are the some of the species of the fawn plant feather like structure okay feather okay as i already told feather plant pteron plus phytopteron pteridophyta uh, means feather like uh, plant so whose leaves are feather like plant they are placed so they may be annual plant like azola and selvinia and perennial plant like angiotris osmunda okay osmunda now another characteristic of the plant that belongs to this subdivision are most of them are terrestrial means growing on the moist shady place okay so they require moist and shady place because in this uh, plant they also reproduce by uh, alternation of generation they also show alternation of generation uh, and uh, there should be fusion of male and female gamete requires so that's why they are also found in moist shady place they require water for uh, uh, fertilization also some are but some are aquatic also like azola selvinia and aquatic means living in water okay aquatic means living in water they grow on the water like azola and selvinia and xerophytic also so xerophytic means living in the dry and hot climate where there is there may be the scarcity of water okay so once uh, one of the example of is equestrian okay equestrian is an example of zero fighting uh, teredo fighter okay and they can also grow one of the another uh, characteristic is that they can grow on other plant also they may be growing on the uh, plant like mango and other plant they can grow on the plant's body also and that type of pteridophyta which grow on the body of other plant are known as epiphytes they are known as epiphytes is it clear okay so now the last uh, characteristic is that the they show alternation of generation means the sporophytic stage as well as the gametophytic stage the formation of gamete as well as that is gamete that is uh, deployed uh, sorry haploid stage as well as sporophytic stage that is deployed stage occurs one after another to complete their life cycle which is known as alternation of generation which about which we have studied earlier also okay so these are the characteristic of pteridophyta and example if you take the example like Fawns, horsetail, panemelia, etc., are the example of the uh, plant that belongs to subdivision Pteridophyta. So, in today's class, we have studied about the Tracheophyta. What are the roles of xylem and phloem? In short, we have discussed what is xylem and phloem, how they conduct uh, nutrients. Uh, add to the nutrients and uh, water among themselves that also we have discussed and after that why we call pteridophyta as the vascular cryptogams also uh, having vascular tissues and uh, they don't bear seeds that also we have discussed and uh, 
After that, we have discussed that uh, about the general characteristics like they are found as sub sub entry and they were the first terrestrial plant to possess vascular tissues. Similarly, plant body is sporophytic and dominant uh, stage. Uh, sporophytic stage is the dominant stage in that, and they are independent of the uh, nutritionally independent of the uh, gametophyte. And similarly, their body is uh, body is differentiated into root stem and leaves and uh, Mostly they, are, they may be annual also, they may be perennial and they are mostly grown uh, uh, in terrestrial uh, as well as aquatic as well as xerophytic also and we also discuss about the alternation of generation present in them. So this is uh, all about today's class. So see you in next class for today. This much. Thank you.